Kelsey Brennan Wessels, and welcome back to Earth from Space on the European Space Agency Web TV. The Copernicus Sentinel 2A satellite takes us over Lake Huron, the second largest of the five Great Lakes of North America. Bound on the north and east by the Canadian province of Ontario, and on the south and west by the state of Michigan in the U.S., Lake Huron was the first of the Great Lakes to be seen by Europeans in 1615. This image highlights the dominance of agricultural production in the region, where conditions are ideal for cultivating corn, soybeans, and hay. The colored blocks in the image show a grid-like structure for growing crops, typical of American agricultural practice. This image also shows signs of sediments and algae bloom along the coast, one of the consequences of intensive agricultural activity in a region that responds to the ongoing demand for produce. Lake Huron is around 330 kilometers long from northwest to southeast. Covering an area of over 244,000 square kilometers and containing around 22,600 cubic kilometers of water, together the Great Lakes form the largest connected area of fresh surface water on Earth. The only places that hold more fresh water are the polar ice caps. Many islands lie in the northeastern part of the lake, with Heisterman Island, North Island and Middle Grounds Island, home to Wild Fowl Bay State Park, shown here. This image was captured on December 1st of 2017. And that wraps up this edition of Earth from Space. Remember that to learn more about space or about our planet, you can visit our website at www.esa.int. From the ESA Web TV studios, have a great day. If you like the video and you want to see more about space or about our planet, subscribe to our channel.